Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm perma banning. Whatever, I'll just do it so he can stop asking, basically. Oh my God. Like, I hate my life. And them look yeah, smart. Exactly. No, that's not, that's. <laughs> Dude. Oh God, you're so. No, that's not the point. After the show ended, uh, they gave us a ride home. So, uh. Did you have tongue when you kissed? Prepare for takeoff, okay? Wash. Ew, and what? Is he trying to give himself some kind of alibi in case there's any allegations against him? Because he know he fucked up. Oh my God. What would the allegations be? No, sh no, no. Wait, no shot. Wait, no shot are these the other... We're done with the misogyny arc. God, fuck. Why are women so hateable? I'm, I've been a big fan for a while, so it was convenient that I went on Fresh and Fit, so... Thank you so much, so... Uh, so, basically, you appeared at the beginning of the year. Now, how did you end up on the show? So basically what had happened was um, I had, uh, she's my best friend, one of my best friends. Um, she lived out where I live in right now. Uh, I live in New Jersey. So um, she moved out to Miami around like November, September of last year. And um, when she moved out to Miami, she was like, she had her own apartment. So she was looking for something to financially like support her. So she went on this, this site um, where there, it was like a dating type of site. And, you know, it was for financially you know, like relationships daddy. yeah All right. and um so she uh she met fresh on that uh site too that's and awesome and yeah they i'm pretty sure they previously had gotten exposed for that like i think a year ago how they had like a whole dating show but they were found on this app so it was kind of contradicting but um she had hung out with him a few times but it was mostly like they they were more friends than anything so she got pretty close with him and um, she ended up flying me out to Miami to visit her for about like a few days. And that's when I had met Fresh myself. So he, I'm not gonna lie, like he is a very nice person. Fresh person. seems very so, nice. I mean, he and, yeah. he and he just, you know, he's just kind of there, right? I mean, he's not a very sharp guy and, and you know, God bless him for that, right? Yeah, and, and <laughs> I also, we also found out that he actually owns the podcast. It's not Myron. Myron's fit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we yeah. actually, maybe you can shed light on some questions we had, because we noticed that Fresh had a lot more followers, and it, mm -hmm. he seems to be wealthy, and I was wondering, yes, how, yes. how did he get, what's his background? So basically, um, what had, also, by the way, like, I, I spoke to Sam when I, before I came on, but the reason why I called in was because I saw your, your videos for a while, and you guys were asking questions that, like, I knew the answers to, and I was like, I have to call you guys in, mm -hmm. but basically he um he's the one that recruits like him and his team recruit the girls but it's mostly like walter that goes to like these events at clubs so he goes to the clubs and he's the one that goes out there to like i guess like advertise them and stuff i don't know exactly what he i don't know but he's the one that goes out and myron just like stays behind at home and doesn't really do anything okay. so, so like walter yeah that's so and so fr fresh is actually the brains behind the operation he's the secret yeah. mastermind he's the genius he he's running the operation wow. picking coconuts in barbados i mean coconuts yeah. in barbados man it's wednesday my dudes <laughs> yeah uh, yeah he like he goes fresh and fit are those like poa such high value men type guys right yeah we've watched a few of their like podcasts probably they're in miami i don't some erudite mentioned going on the podcast with them <laughs> i don't know what that would look like but if i ever had the chance to i would do it it'd be funny but um no goes out and and the craziest part too is that um he went out to clubs and my friend this had is gonna be a wild story guys okay Jesus, this is going to be a wild one, guys. Tagged along with him a few times because he invited her out with him. But he doesn't drink, neither does Myron. But they go out to these clubs to, like, I guess, like, speak to people. And, like, they don't drink, like, a sip of liquor. Like, they refuse that's, to. That's so fucked up. Well, you know why. They're trying to find drunk girls mm -hmm. to take advantage yeah, of. Yeah, of course. Holy yeah, shit, I, that's I was... so creepy. Yeah. But, okay, uh, this is, again... If you don't have any like hookup or whatever experience, 
then just don't, just don't talk about it, okay? Because like you've basically just said that like every single person that goes to a bar or to a club is creepy. Like, could we could we make like some critiques of dating culture? Like, yeah, sure, I think that's it's fair to say that. I think there are critiques that are to be made, but this idea like they're going out to like clubs and shit, like looking for drunk people to take advantage of them, like that's so creepy. Like, come on, like really? Is that like? But whatever, I don't know. Um, when I had flown out to Miami, um, my first day there, I slept the whole day, but my second day, me and her had gone out to, um, to like a little hotel pool party. And, um, after that we went, he invited us back to his apartment to have like, just to hang out with him and stuff. Cause I had talked to him over the phone a few times, but when we went to his apartment, we spoke to him. I met his dog and stuff. He was very cool down to earth. And then, um, my friend had asked like if we could be on the podcast and he was like, okay, like you guys can come on. So we went on like two days later and then that's when I had my whole experience like before, during and after on the podcast. <laughs> also, wait, hold on. Is this girl anybody or is is she, she's not famous or anything, right? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Fuck, this is, I actually just realized that I don't want to talk about this on the stream now because I'm gonna kill myself having this conversation. Um, Instagram, I think. Like, isn't she an Instagram? When you start like saying shit, like, like, okay, how do I say this? Actually, I love rape. I'm a rape apologist. Okay, there, boom. Let's get out of the way. Okay, I actually am pro <laughs> video games. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, got people will be critical. Okay, damn, where do I want to start? People will talk about power differentials in relationships all the time. I think that that's good but people are generally only aware of like some types of power differential, right? Like I think a power differential is like when you can offer something to somebody that they desperately want or need and might not be able to get from somewhere else, then you have like a power differential, right? Um, this might be in the form of money, might be in the form of sex, might be in the form of employment, might be in the form of rent. Like, there's a lot of ways power differentials can work, right? People will be very critical of guys wielding power differentials to get things from women, usually sex, but people are like never critical of women wielding sex to get things from guys. I don't know why that, I know why that is the case, but like that's very irritating that people aren't aware of that. If you're like a random chick and you're nobody and you're like asking a dude in his apartment, like, hey, you wanna like let me on your podcast? Like, bro, come on, what? Why the fuck are you even asking it? Like, I don't know, that's, but we're just at stage one. We're just at stage one, okay? We're the first part of the video, okay? This is just the, this is just the opening, so let's go. So Man. what I'm what I'm hearing so far is fresh is the brains. He's actually a sweet guy, which I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the whole funny thing that you're touching on is how they complain about women being gold diggers, but they're finding women to date on gold exactly. on on, on uh, sugar daddy websites. It, it makes yeah, no sense. Yeah. And and like the more I get into this stuff, like I kind of had like my own debate with Myron off camera. Like it's just like their whole they're very. I could say fit is a very insecure man from my experience oh, yeah. with him, but, oh, yeah. but like, it, it's like, it's a very hypocritical podcast. I mean, it's already known, but like, it's disgusting. I don't know. I just can't stand them. All right. So tell me about the day. Cause I know you had some interesting, uh, run-ins with Myron, AKA fit. So yeah. tell me about the day of the podcast leading up to it. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. So um, the day of the podcast, we went, they have the podcast in like this apartment building. So when we got there, um, they basically told us the floor to go up to. So when we got up there, you walk in and right away, like they tell you to stay quiet, like stay silent, you can't speak. And he had, they had was like the a show segment live? going on. Yeah, it was live. So okay. they were telling us to stay quiet. And then that's when they had us fill out. Like <laughs> I like how at least Ethan asked that. Like as soon as we came in, they were like, stay quiet. It's like, well, were they filming? Yeah. Okay. I right, just as a fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. I'm gonna I'm being honest with you guys. I'm perma banning incel shit on my subreddit. If I see you type incel shit, I'm banning you, okay? Just letting you know. So what I say is and in one year or another. Okay. But like what are you a woman that's never been told to shut your fucking mouth before? Like, why would you say something so fucking stupid? Like I went in and he immediately told me that I had to be quiet. It's like, well, were they fucking filming? Yeah. And like Okay, sorry. Just the uh the um, consent form like to be on camera and um they told us to take off our shoes they said that there's no shoes and no vaping because they said that if you vape they think the fire alarm is going to go off and then that's, that's not true after that yeah <laughs> yeah and um after that uh they finished the segment and that's when walter came over to me and my friend and then all the girls started coming in 
and they had like this i I believe he was the sound tech guy because he kept telling us to speak into the mic but he told us the rules so he came up to us and he told us listen like when you go on you have to speak into the mic you can't interrupt myron they said that you can disagree with him until the sun comes up as long as you wait for your turn and you let him speak that's what they said and um they said that no shoes of course and you can't look at yourself in the monitor like or the chat and then there was um they also took our phones before we went live like they took all of our phones in a basket so we couldn't use our phones this guy really and thinks then, he, he the dude thinks he's like dave Chappelle or something like <laughs> like the way they have yeah. that locked down and stuff is pretty incredible for a small time podcast wait it's, is it small time am i crazy i thought they had over a million subs maybe they don't maybe it's way less Okay, 700,000 subs. I think that they're like, I think it's decently popular enough that they can like have these requests made for people going on their show. Like, but, okay. <laughs> yeah, and, and um, so it was, so they finished the segment and then that was the time that we all like mingled with the girls to get to know each other and stuff. And then there was this other guy that worked for him. I, I just know that he's the one that does the streaming before the live to show people like um, what's going on behind the scenes and stuff. And he's mostly like the advertiser, like on social media, he just controls, I believe that's what he does. But he came up to me and my friend and he offered us alcohol. He said like, do you guys want to drink? And I was like, no, thank you. Cause um, like, you know, like I've drank in high school and stuff like that, but I knew I was going on a podcast. So I knew I wanted to be coherent when I was like on live. So this is before and, you go on, you're 19 yeah, years before. old and then they're offering mm-hmm. you alcohol. That's classy. Yeah, and then so they, they offered me a white claw, so I was like, no, thank you. And they were like, come on. So I, like, I just took the white claw and I opened it and pretended like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I have a white claw. Pressure you, and- in fact. Okay, hold on. I just want to remember this part of the story, okay? Remember this part of the story, but okay. Dude. Oh, if you're a European listening, which you shouldn't because you should be asleep, but in America, technically you shouldn't offer alcohol, not technically, legally you shouldn't offer alcohol to minors because it's illegal. Minor being person under the age of 21, but an alcoholic beverage we love that and, yeah and then and then after that um the one guy he came out with like a tequila bottle i don't know where he got this bottle from but he was like oh who wants to take a shot with me and the two other girls were like no thank you and then he looked over at me and my friend and he was like come on guys come on like come on take a shot with me don't make me do this by myself and so my friend was like you know what whatever i'll just do it so he could stop asking basically oh my god like <laughs> i hate my life just fucking stop going outside, okay? Girls like you used to play Gaia online or Neopets, all right? Like, also, you know what? I don't believe it. I'm gonna doubt women here too, okay? I'm gonna do the ultimate insult on this. I don't believe it. Like, this is some shit that you tell mom and dad when the cops bust you to party. Well, the guy was asking, like, do shots, and I, you know, I just didn't want him to ask anymore, so I went and I did all the shots. Like, come the fuck on. Like, Grow the fuck up. What are you, like 19, 20? You're old enough that you could say, like, I don't want to drink. It's okay. Like, come on, dude. Are you serious? And um, she took the shot with him. And then from there on, like, they just did all the advertising and, like, sh- like taking pictures of us for the thumbnail. And um, Myron came out. And actually, like, he's pretty tall. I told Sam this, like, when I was, like, telling her the notes and stuff. He's a very tall person in person. But um, he came out. And I was, like not expecting him to look the way he did and walter came up to me and he said to me um do you want to go on a double date with me and myron and i said with who and he said your friend so he wanted to they wanted to go on a double date with my friend me and fresh and fit and they said that they wanted to vlog it and then um vlog i obviously it? denied yeah Break they were like, invasion we're gonna vibes vlog. remember he used to do that <laughs> So again, yeah, you're 19, and, uh, he's 35, mm-hmm. and he's trying to take you out on a date? So yeah, um, Walter was the one that approached me on it. Mind you, I hadn't even had, I didn't say a word to Myron. So I never like knew who, like, I didn't know him in person. I knew him from like social media, but like he never spoke to me the whole time until we got on the podcast. So Walter came up to me like with this proposition of we're going to go on a vlog and ooh, like it's going to be a big deal. And I simply was like, no, like I'll pass on it simply because I don't want to be associated with them like yeah. at all. Like, Smart. Then why the fuck are you going to their fucking studio to do a podcast? Wait, what do you mean? I don't want to be associated with them at all. What are you talking about? So 
I was like, yeah, I'll think about it. And then after that, the, Myron came over and he said, can you guys believe Ethan Klein just did a video about us? Da, 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 da. And then that's when I, I, I like, I was smiling because I was like, I'm a fan. So I was just thinking, You're like, I'm going to end up on his show talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 wait, was he excited or was he like pissed about no, it? No, 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 no. Well, he was like laughing, but the thing with him is like, if I listen, I don't have my PhD or anything, but I think he's very easy to read that he laughs over his insecurities. Like, it's so obvious how like, oh, yeah, ha, 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 I'm not mad about this, but he clearly is. Right. And, I um, see. He like tries to make it. He does it several times when when women debate him. He just laughs over it, but he makes himself look ten times more stupid. But he did it like that. He was like, "Oh my god, can you believe Ethan? What a what a guy! He's he's talking about me." Blah 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 blah. And I was smiling like on the couch, and I was next to Walter. And Walter was. I look over at Walter, and I said, "So you guys gonna go on the podcast?" And he was like, mm, "We're gonna think about it." And then that's when I said to Walter. And and I said to Walter, well, I actually watched the Age Three podcast, so and uh -oh. he was like, yeah, that guy, yeah, I don't know. They, they were just very like they just switched the subject right away. So um, by the way, I just want to note how creepy mm -hmm. it is that they're trying to get you group of girls uh, alcoholed up when the two of them don't drink. I mean, that yeah. is so messed up. Not just wait. Did she say she drank in high school? What do you mean the two of them don't drink? Did I mishear that part? And then also like, bro, hold on. You're like, you are entering this situation as adults, okay? And also like, alcoholed up, like, um, oh, the other two dudes, he meant fresh, they, oh, they meant, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The Oh, they were saying that when fresh and fit, don't drink, gotcha. Um, I, offering people like a drink before, this is something that, okay, <laughs> this is a reality that I hate, but unfortunately it is true. I wish it wasn't the case, but I have seen this so many times, okay? And this is something that you can only know, I'm not trying to jerk myself up, but you can only know this with experience with people and social situations with women, okay? Everybody drinks to like loosen themselves up. Or maybe not everybody, but almost everybody. It is incredibly common. Even if there's like a girl that I'm hooking up with for like the third or fourth time, sometimes she's like, let me go get some wine. It's like, why, bitch? Like, you know, I'm not gonna here to fucking kill you. Like, I would've killed you the first or second time. Like, what? like it is incredibly common that, or like people go like, oh, like, let me get something to drink, whatever. Like, oh, I'm gonna get a drink, I'm gonna get a wine, whatever. I'm gonna get a, a mixed drink, whatever. Like, it's insanely common. The idea that people would go on a show where they're like nervous or jittery, and they're like, hey, do you want like a white claw or something first? Do you want like a drink, whatever? Like, yeah, have a drink, like, it'll be kind of, like, that's, that, I can totally believe that. Yeah, or for, if you wanna go to the basic bitch, right? a white claw, sure. That is like, I wouldn't even think twice if somebody told me that. Like, if somebody's like, yeah, I went to go on their podcast and they offered me like a white cloth. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, that's it. Not like, wait, they tried to get you to drink when they're not even drinking? They're like, what do you mean? No, like, yeah, of course. It's like, it's super duper common. It's from like, first of all, they're trying to make you guys look dumb on the show and them look yeah, smart. Yeah, exactly. No, that's not, that's... <laughs> Dude, oh God, you're so... No, that's not the point. That's not the goal, but okay. And then he's also trying to take you out on a date. I mean, the whole thing is just weird and inappropriate. And vlog it, I guess. I don't even know why. <laughs> and what? But And vlog it, I guess. Oh, yeah, and vlog it, because they got to prove that we're fucking, yo, we got chicks, bro. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe. Yeah. But um, she, oh, she. So after that, like, and like, I wouldn't think it was weird in a mutual experience, but non-drinkers providing alcohol is some fucking weird subtext. Um, it could be, but you need more information about it, right? I, I'm a kid. I hate alcohol. I hate the taste of alcohol. I hate fucking mixed drinks. I hate whatever womanly drink you think I'm not gonna hate, and I hate wine. Okay, I hate all of it. All right, but. So there are times when I'll go out with somebody and they'll drink and I won't drink anything. And I might even take them out to go get a drink and I'm not planning on drinking it because I don't, I just don't like drinking. But I don't need it to like loosen up. Um, well, it depends on how you want me, I guess. But um, generally like, yeah, I will go with it. So like it, 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 it might be creepy, it might not be. It just it super depends on the context, depends on what you're talking about, you know? And it was the producers anyway, but the sounds like, yeah, maybe, yeah. Like they started talking about you and the H3 podcast. They were like, oh yeah, we're gonna talk about it today. So they added it to their segment at the end of the show. And that's when I went on the show, they started. And like the whole time I felt like I was sweating because like the monitor is huge, like right next to you. So like, I'm trying not to look into this camera. And they start the show 
it was very painful to sh- like to sit through the whole thing because like I knew my the whole reason why I wanted to be on the show was because I didn't know who they were until the day before when I did my research and I was like I would love to go on this podcast and like make them look stupid in some type of way and so I went on the podcast and then they did like these questions like oh um is it okay for a guy to have a side girl and I was like no and then he said this they said the same thing for a girl like can a girl have a side guy and I said no like I think it's equal when you're in a relationship like there's respect fascinating conversation by the way yeah it's, it's the a- fresh and fit podcast what do you think the topic is going to be right like today on the fresh and fit podcast we're going to discuss do you need to be an authentic German speaker to have a good understanding of ethics? Because how can you really understand people like Hegel or Kant if you can't read the German? Like, like what the fuck do you think they're gonna be fucking talking about? It's fucking fresh and fit. It's probably gonna be questions like, does size matter? Like, how drunk is too drunk? And like, <laughs> does a guy need to be six feet tall and rich to fuck? Like, it's like this is gonna be every, like, no, I shouldn't say that because I haven't actually listened to it. But like, from the little bit of like podcast topics I've seen, it looks like it's all about like sex and dating and like alpha male high value shit. That's what it seems like, right? But. <clears throat> is no, it okay to cheat on your partner go ahead yes or no <laughs> no it was, a, it was a great discussion like the title but yeah. um yeah, right. he, and he um so it was they said something at the beginning where like they, they they call it a plant where they know that so i think they picked up on it now some girls go on the show to like pretend that they're interested to like debate them so over some time i think myron picked me out of the crowd and he was like oh you he made a joke about the sims he said that oh i think you play the sims because you want to make it like an all-girl world like basically calling me a feminist and the worst insult I, of course to levy yeah, against a like, woman <laughs> yeah and i just laughed and i was like yeah um okay and then um when i had said the whole thing about a girl having a side guy and a guy having a side girl i said i think that both a man and a woman should be equal in a relationship where you guys need to respect each other. And he basically said, so you think men and women are the same? And I said, no, I don't That's think men so and women funny. are the That's same. A, dude, the dude is like, he has one trick. Mm-hmm. He literally just tries to drive every conversation to how men and women are fundamentally different. And anyone that tells you that's crazy, like, I, I see where he's trying to lead the conversation in a way where he's comfortable yeah. talking about it. And he he was like, I'm going to take a note of that. We're going to come back to this discussion. And I was like, I don't think men and women are the same. But when it comes to a relationship, it's it's like you're basically one person at the end of the day. So they're the same. And he was like, hmm, I disagree. And the whole like after that, like the rest of the podcast, like he would find any time that he could to like sound bite me or like play the soundboard or like do something. And then after that, like I was like over it by the end of the show. But um at the end of the podcast they were reading the super chat and of course all of his fans were coming at me the whole time and they were saying like oh she doesn't like biological reality meaning like you know like i don't like the fact that men can cheat and women can't yeah that's a biological um, reality (laughs) apparently on the in the fresh and fit universe it's just understood by the men of course the women they still haven't they still haven't got that memo we're working on that boys yeah yeah and and then i basically just like that's my time like i I took it as my time to shine because it was like final thoughts and they were like oh what do you have a rebuttal against that and i basically said i it's not that i don't like this biological reality it's the fact that i don't like that your podcast sits here and likes to normalize this thing and he was like oh you think we normalize these things and i said yeah i think you like to sit here and say that men can cheat and women need to get over it and he went quiet and he said well i think women can cheat and i said at the end of the day no one should be sitting here talking about cheating and how it's okay and how i have to deal with it if a man has a rolls royce or this and that because at the end of the day no one gives a crap about that like i don't care what you have all i care about is respect and then they um and i also had said to him too like why do you want to feed into this stereotype that women want money but you sit here like and feed into it like it just doesn't make any sense to me but well the double the double standard to me that's always funny is like they want a young, beautiful, perfect-bodied woman, right? That's all they care about. They want them dumb, dumb and young. And so if a woman wants you for your money, what's the fucking difference between the two? Wait, hold on. I've never watched Fresh and Fit in my life. Well, I've seen, like, clips of them, but, like, if I had to guess, I, I would actually bet money on this without ever having watched them. They would. I'm guessing they'd probably say like, "Yeah, of course, women want us for our money." Wouldn't they just say that? 
Like, it, my, like my guess would literally be like fresh and fit would literally be like, yeah, of course, women are after dudes for their money. You know, that's why we try to like, you know, look stacked or whatever. Like that, they'd probably say exactly like that would, they, they would say like, yeah, Ethan, we agree with that 100%. Like we want chicks that look good and are young and they want us for like our success and our wealth. Like, <laughs> I, like, I may, I don't know. I, I feel like they've said it a lot more. Yeah. Man, no, it, it's, it's, but he said, he said something along that line during the podcast where, well, those are my standards. And like, he said that he basically says the same thing that he did for the Australian people where he said, open on my end, closed on yours. Like that's his whole mindset. And it's just embarrassing, but it was just funny to see like my experience with him afterwards, which was, um, after the show ended, uh, they gave us a ride home. So, uh, we had gone into the car and that I, they closed off the podcast talking about you. They said, oh, well, this guy just challenged us. And also, by the way, they subscribe to you. They, they're subscribed to the H3 podcast. Of course they are. And but, by the way, that invite is still open, which they're too cowardly to accept. It's pathetic at this point. Well, after they said like, oh, yeah, we're going to take on the challenge. When they said it on live, we had gotten into the car afterwards. And it was me, my friend, Fresh and Fit, and then another girl from the show. And as we were driving um, back to the my friend's apartment, <clears throat> They started talking. I, I basically brought it up and I was like, so you guys are going to debate Ethan? And they said, nah, we're not going to do it. Like, he's just going to make fun of us the whole time. And I was like, I don't think he would do that. But Me? Like, why would I would you never do that. Him? Yeah. <laughs> and no, but I actually I am. Like, I am genuinely interested in having uh, discussing these issues with them. Not that I think it's like, I don't think you can really get anywhere with them. But there you go. Mm -hmm. You see, their whole time, their whole plan from the beginning was to dodge us. Yeah, they were basically saying all of that, and then um, <laughs> me, we, we got back to the apartment, and I left my wallet in. I guess it was a gift from God, but <laughs> I left my wallet in Myron's car because he was the one driving, and my my friend's keys were in my wallet, so we had to get the wallet back because we couldn't get back into the apartment. Mind you, it's like five a.m. in Miami. And we start calling Walter. He's not answering. It's like a whole game of cat and mouse. And Myron gets the wallet. And Walter was like, oh, he wants your friend's number if he's going to bring back the wallet, meaning me. So I was like, um, sure, like I need my wallet. Like I'm not going to text this guy anyways. So um, he gets my number. And Wait, hold on. So Walter was a whole game of cat and mouse and myron gets the wallet and walter was like oh he wants your friend's number if he's gonna bring back the wallet meaning me so i was like um sure like i need my wallet like i'm not gonna text this guy anyways so um he gets my number and this like bro this shit is so dishonest okay like oh um also i'm being told i have a fanatic h3h3 viewer and even she thinks that Ethan fucked up here. Apparently, Fresh and Fit have disproved a lot of these texts on stream, and apparently this is one of them that was disproved by them leaking logs. But like, just think about like this. Think about this thing, like, oh, uh, you know, I'm not gonna talk to him, but like, I guess I'll give him my number. Like, you know, I'm not gonna chat with anybody. Like, really? Come on, really? And he brings back the wallet, and I had basically texted him saying like, don't steal my wallet, like before he put it back. And then he started talking about how I look like Tim Pool, and I was like, "What?" Is <laughs> Sorry, was he? Yeah, is that he, his way of coming on to you? I guess I thought I don't, I don't know. It was just, he sent me. A I tell that of to Tim Eula Poole sometimes when I want to be really nice <laughs> when she looks really good. Baby, you look like Tim yeah. Pool. Damn, he's got such. Game can I see dude. a picture of you, or do you do you not want me to draw attention to it? I actually, I mean, if I can, I could turn on the camera. I just don't want to show my face on the stream. Well, I want to, I want to see, I want to rate you on a scale of Tim Pool. <laughs> I think I'm pretty Tim Pool. To uh, regular. You know what? You know what the problem is, though. It's definitely not me. I think I me. sent. I, <laughs> I sent. Uh, I think I sent a few pictures to Sam. All right, let's let's pull it up. So go, do go, they show go this on continue stream? on with no, this. Uh, do. do they or do they? Recording you while I yeah. pull up this, yeah. So um, <laughs> he, he, uh, yeah, so he said I look like Tim Pool, and then I guess that was his way of flirting. I don't know. And then he <laughs> tried to maintain a conversation with me, like through text, and I was like not answering him because I had got my wallet back. And I only had about like three more days I, I, I had left in my trip, and me and my friend were saying, like, you know, it, it would be fun to sit here and like, make him look dumb like he sits here and he thinks that he can get all these women but then a 19 year old like doesn't like you know like um rejects him 
So this is the biggest fucking cope shit I've ever heard in literally my entire life. Like, what if we? Okay, but what if I responded to his text? What if I actually did respond to his text just to like make him look dumb or whatever? You know, like wouldn't that be like, bro, really? So, um, basically, he he kept like texting me every day. Like when I wouldn't respond, he would just say hello, hello, hello. Like called me. I never answered. And then Real eventually, beauty, I was like, a little desperate. And then I was like, you know, what? if I'm gonna hang out with him, like I'm okay to hang out with him to like, cause you know, like you can't interrupt him on the podcast, but I can interrupt you at dinner. So like, just listen to like how many levels of like cope we're on right now. Like, I didn't even like being on their podcast. I felt disgusted being in the studio. And then it's like, I'll give him his number, but I'm not even gonna talk to him. Okay, like fuck it, who cares? Okay, so I talked to him on the phone, but like, huh, you know, I text a little bit. Okay, and like maybe I'll go out to dinner with him, but just so that I can like argue with him. You know, I was trying to like, bro, are you serious? Like, come the fuck on. Like, you are clout and dick chasing so hard right now. It's okay, but like. Damn, get the fuck over yourself. Calm the fuck on. I basically said, you know what? Um, yeah, if we're going to hang out, I want to eat dinner or go to lunch. Simple. And he said, well, you can come to my place and see if you can handle me. And wow. I was like, no, he said, if you can handle this. And I said, Wait, hold hey. on. I have a picture of you. Hold on. I don't know. I, I, got, I hate to break it to you, but. Yeah, I'm pretty simple. That is a spitting <laughs> image of. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. It is literally a picture of Tim Pool. I'm not making fun of the way you look. No, I, I'm trying to, you, I was supposed to stay anonymous. Why'd you guys show a picture of me? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Well, if you want to be anonymous, don't. we don't have to pull it up. No big deal. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, it was, it's just because like, I'd rather not like get wrapped into their BS. Because, you know, you, you can, if you use, if you take one of their brooms and beat them up with it, you know, it's a big deal. But I don't know if you remember him saying that. If you go to his broom shop. What? Oh yeah, something about beating up each other with a broom or oh, some shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. That was... I think he. <laughs> yeah. Wait. How? If she was arguing with him on a podcast and now she's calling into the H3H show, how is she being anonymous? <laughs> what are we? What is happening? Am I having a fucking? What is going on here? The broom is interesting. I think he's tapping into some trauma. Hmm. <laughs> hey, did you yeah, find no, a picture, but... Sam? But yeah, so basically he, um, throughout the- By the way, sorry, the I gotta, I gotta cut you off. Yeah, it's okay. This, this person uh, just said she's definitely trolling y'all. Uh, for any, I should have said this at the top. We've, we've confirmed that she's been on the show. Uh, she was there. Uh, this is all, she, this is a real person who's been on the show. We confirmed it. So I should have said that at the top, but, uh, all right, let me say, I got a picture. Oh my God, dude, what the hell? <laughs> Should I show it or no? no? Oh, don't show it. Yeah, don't. Oh, I thought I was supposed to show it. No. Oh, don't show it. You could describe it, I mean. All right, she's wearing a beanie. She appears to be bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me. No, she's a young, beautiful, <laughs> she's a young, beautiful girl that looks nothing like Tim Pool. I don't see any resemblance whatsoever so that uh but that's really an interesting that's an interesting pickup line <laughs> yeah you know i'm sure it's a conversation <laughs> starter there you yeah go. He, he that's how he started it all but from there he just basically just kept texting me like every day like um <laughs> hey like and, I, and like he would ask to hang out but i would make up an excuse like oh no sorry i have to do something today sorry I, i'm hanging out with my friend that's all awesome. and i basically I, I would hint at it like several times, not hint at it, but I would say like, if we're gonna go out, can Izzy and Walter, so can my friend and Walter come? And she, and he was like, oh, well, you can't leave your friend alone. And I was like, mm, not really. Cause it was because I, I never wanted to be alone with him at all. I yeah, did not want to be alone with him. And um, so the days go by and it's my last day in Miami. And I thought it was gonna be my last day, but I had got stuck there because of a snowstorm uh, back at home. So I thought it was my last day and me and my friend had gone out to the club that was like around, like around her area. And when we went in there, we were, we were doing our own thing and Walter had showed up. Do you think that now this is something I don't know as much about, um, because I'll admit I don't go to clubs, so I'm not going to pretend to have experience here. Just guessing though, is it common that people will go to clubs and never drink? Is that a thing? 
because I feel like drinking and clubbing like are like pretty much go hand in hand with each other. Like, are you going to go out to the, to like, are you going to go to the club and dance and shit and not have anything to drink? Maybe people do. Um, I know a ton of people get like fake IDs and shit, but like, so I'm curious right now. I'll say I'm curious if she's drinking at all right now, but maybe that'll get, uh, maybe that'll get figured out later on. We'll see. And he came up to us, like we went to his table, he was talking to us and he comes straight up to me and he says, well, uh, Myron wants you. And I said, a child? <laughs> like, cause I, I, I know I'm not a, I, I know I'm not a, a minor. I mean, you're but 19 like, I'm, and, and- I'm a fresh, I'm a freshly out of being a minor. Yeah, like, I mean, you, you, you practically just finished high school at that point, right? Yeah, I, I, I probably just finished my first year of college, but- um, and so, it, it was, was it weird for you for this thirty-five-year-old, thirty-five-year-old man to be so, uh, so persistently pursuing you? Yeah, it, it was very. I'm what I describe it as, like when I like on the. Podcast, he's trying like so hard to make them sound like creepy predators. Like, bro, she's nineteen. Like, it's fair game. Like, of course he's gonna try to fuck. Like, what? Like they already had her on her podcast. Everything. He thinks she's cool enough for that. Like, yeah, of course he's gonna try to fuck. What do you mean? Like, if you think the age of consent should be higher, then I mean, like, say it should be higher. But like, what is like? She's nineteen, bro. She's like in college. Like, she's her done with her first year of high school. Like, come on. Like, what? Podcast. I was sick to my stomach just being on the podcast itself. But um, like, just being in his presence, like later in the night, I felt very sick because it was just weird. Like, just like. So knowing... I find it odd. To Remember that... this. I felt sick being in his presence. His body. He's these guys are. They're like kindergartens. Like he's sending his body. They'd be like, hey, you want to go on a double date? Or, yo, my buddy really likes you. It's like, dude, <laughs> this guy talks about alpha maleness. He, like, he, 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 he's sending love notes through his buddy, which is cute, you know, yeah. if it's age appropriate. Whoops. I, I think they said that there's a rule that for a guy to date someone, it's half your age plus t- seven or something, like 12. And I am pretty sure I'm way below that, even if that Wait, was a half, rule. Half, what's the rule that I haven't heard that? How old is the fresher fit guy? Also, that's for dating, not for hooking up. Right, technically, these are two very different things, um, but half, I, I half your age plus seven is the one that I've heard many times, and I don't think nineteen would be acceptable under that <laughs> yeah. rule to a thirty. Wait, that's girl. interesting. So wait, I'm thirty six, so I go times two plus seven. No, divided by two plus seven. It would be twenty five. Twenty five. 25. That seems young for me. Twenty five. <laughs> I, I mean, this is not an actual rule. This, this isn't like a law that or people anything. say, yeah, um, uh, as kind of just like a guideline. But yeah, I mean, if he's 35. So wait, if you're uh, 60, wait, I'm interested by this rule. So it's <laughs> minus two. No, divided by two. Yeah, plus seven, 37 if you're 60. See, that seems fine to me. I mean, obviously a big gap. Uh, okay. But yeah, if it was an actual rule. Uh, yeah, he would have failed that one, yeah. but it's pretty rough. But he, um, yeah, I, I basically said to Walter, like a child, like I'm young. And I said, what is it so attractive about me that he wants me this bad? That it's been like three days that he can't get out of my cell phone. And also he talks about being this famous number one men's podcast, but you're stuck on a 19 year old. Number one men's like, podcast. What does that even mean? Like <laughs> Number one human I, I, trafficking podcast in the world. Based, Ethan. <laughs> so it's not the competition isn't tight yeah no, it's but he, what i had asked him like what what is it about me that he's so attracted to he said you're his type again i said a child and he, <laughs> said, no, he, he said no um uh he said no you're you're just his type and i said can you elaborate but he wouldn't elaborate so i said to him i said i disagree on everything that he says um i i i'm pretty sure i look mm, pretty young and i don't know what it is like about whatever so we get to the point of my walter just keeps saying that myron wants me wants me and i was like okay then i'll get back to him later in the night i was trying to avoid him as much as possible and then the night goes on and um i have like a drink or two with my friend and i'm i'm like ready to eat food with everybody so we tell we tell walter can we go get food and he's like yeah sure like let's get in the car so we get in the car my friend is in the front seat i'm in the back i like how she adds so much random pointless irrelevant detail bullshit sometimes okay but wait how did wait hold on am i mixing names up why did she get walter is that one of the guys or is that wait that might be her friend hold on let me check i gotta keep all the names straight later in the night I was trying to avoid him as much as possible. And then the night goes on and um, I have like a drink or two with my friend and 
I'm. Oh, I'm, also, she is drinking, by the way, a drink or two. But go ahead. Like ready to eat food with everybody. So we tell we tell Walter, can we go get food? And he's like, yeah, sure. Like, let's get in the car. So we get in the car. My friend is in the front seat. I'm in the back seat. Walter's in the, the front. And they're driving. And Myron just kept saying, like. Okay, oh, Walter and Myron are the fresh and fit guys, right? Is that correct? Walter's not her friend. My, Walter and Myron are the fresh and fit guys, right? Well, okay. How did we go from, so, okay, like, God, dude. If this was my friend, I would dump him immediately. I'd be like, bro, if you're gonna want, if you want to tell me what happened, tell me what happened. Don't feed me this fucking bullshit. How, how many times has she said, like, these people are disgusting? She's trying to avoid them so much. She doesn't want to be anywhere near them. She hates them. And now she's like, so we're hungry. And I go and I find the two guys like, hey, you guys want to go get food? Like, after the club? Like. What the fuck happened? Like, what do you. Why? Well, do you want to go get something to eat? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like, let's go with my friend and Walter. And he was like, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. I also tried getting Myron out to the club. So again, like I didn't want to be alone with him and he refused to go to the club because he said clubs for losers, but it's great for girls. I, I, I don't know what he meant by that, but um, he, so Walter, my friend was like, oh yeah, let, that's great. Like, let's get food with each other. And Walter looked over and like signaled her like, no, like we're not doing that. So eventually like they pull up into, we pull up in front of the podcast apartment and Myron's coming out of the building and I get out of the car and Walter leaves with my friend and took her oh, to like another no. club. So I'm with Myron by myself. So he, we get into his car and he drives us to like this, like place, this spot. I don't know why it was open at 5 a.m. But he- um, Listen to everything that's going, and again, okay, or don't listen. Cause maybe you don't know. Cause maybe a lot of you guys are socially awkward, okay? I'll give you a guide here, okay? It's fucking 5 a.m. after they've been at a fucking club where they are drinking. They're both, now they both hop into a car with this guy, with these guys that are, he already asked on a double date on. Why? And then at this point, like one of the guys like, hey, like I'll go in like this other car. Do you want to come with me? And the other girl's like, yeah, sure. And now the other girl's alone with like, what the fuck is happening right now? What do you, why are you trying to pretend like why are you trying to pretend like some crazy shit has happened so far? Like, basically, it sounds like the entire way, like, you're planning on fucking this dude. Like, like that's, you've already, you made this decision, like, the second you gave him your number. Like, that's what it sounds like. That's what every single sign is pointing towards. Like, there hasn't been any foul play. There hasn't been any weird, creepy shit. Unless maybe you can argue the age difference is a little bit much, which is fine. I can buy that. But, like, other than that, like, everything so far is on the up and up. Like, you are super down to fuck. Like, that is every sing every signal you've given along the way. And even in your own mind, that's where you're at right now. Like you're pretty, you're maybe a little on the wall, but like you're basically there. Like, but. We sat down, we ate food. And mind you, from the minute I saw him when I got out of the car to the minute that I left with him, I was debating him the whole time. And not even. Listen to these. I was debating him in the car the whole time. Like, come on. Like, what does that mean? Like, yeah, I debate girls I fucking hang out with too. But like, it's, those are like some, probably some of my most flirty interactions. Like, what, like, what is this idea? Like, are you trying to pretend that you're like screaming at the guy or like, what, like, how, how is this like supposed to provide credence that like you didn't want to be with him? You don't want to, like, I was debating him. Like, come on, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Debating, just telling him how much I hate his views and like him himself. And, Fun fact, he told me that he's never been in a relationship, so I had asked him, so what gives you the right to sit there and have a podcast? Wait, 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 he's never been in a relationship? That's what he claimed. He said that, yeah, he's had a few girls here and there. I think he mentioned it on the episode that I was on, too, but he said that he's never been in a relationship before. So you're telling me these toxic reg pill mess, uh, this theory of man can cheat, women can't, has not worked out for him, uh, really, at all, has it? Which is so yeah. unexpected. Yeah. Shock. By the way, I don't know if you can see my screen, but this is what you could oh, have been me. like uh, if you would have only accepted uh, fit into your life. You know, you guys could have been a beautiful couple like these two here. <laughs> Think you're really missing out on something special. It's so frustrating. <laughs> Good one, Ethan. Yeah, it was just. So he said so they just... they got you alone with him. Yeah, so basically my friend was alone with Fresh and I was alone with Fit. Perfect. Jesus. It was a perfect night. And um we get to like this restaurant and I basically Crazy. It's almost like that's what was going on the entire time. It's almost like why the fuck 
are you asking a guy if he wants to like, hey, do you guys want to go get food at fucking 5 a.m. at five in the morning? What the fuck are you doing after the club? Like, bro, are you fuck like this is I, like you cannot be any more setting clear signals that you were ready to fuck. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Holy shit. To ask him like what are your political views i'm asking about all of his views because I'm, I'm i'm thinking like if walter's this nice off camera maybe myron's the same way nope i was wrong <laughs> um in fact he's worse but um so he yeah whatever the whole time i'm just like asking him his views i'm debating him he said something about like the thing too that his habit is is that he spits out vocab vomit and he thinks that he sounds smart but it's like i'm confused like speak like we're off camera you can speak english now not red pill beta like no yeah. and he just doesn't stop so like i'm just like whatever so that's the whole conversation throughout the dinner and then we're driving back and I, mind you i had said like oh we're gonna go meet my uh walter and my friend now right and he said yeah 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 I'm talking to him, I'm facing him in the driver's seat. I'm still going, I'm passionate and heated, telling him my views and stuff. And we ended up back at the podcast studio. So I'm like, uh, you know, like I'm ready to go home and we get back up into the podcast studio and we go inside and he's like, oh, I'm just picking up something. I just had to grab something from the studio. Okay, then don't go inside with him. Why would you go inside? Like, hello? And again, it's like four or five a.m. in Miami, and like no one's in the studio, but the lights are all on. They have everything. Why you, you don't need to go in with them to pick something up? Like, that up, and I already had like I already knew the way of the apartment, so I'm sitting in the kitchen area of the, the podcast studio, and he comes over to me and he says, "Of course you would wear your shoes because I forgot to take off my shoes." What? And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he he was like, "Of course you would wear your shoes." And then um, I had had like this little vape that my friend had, and I think I hit it once and he goes, oh, and of course you would do that in here too. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I, I started laughing because I thought he was joking, but he seemed very upset. Are you sure he's not just like fucking with you? Like, why are we getting this line by line? Like, this sounds like so cringe, but okay, go ahead. So I was like, okay. So he said, oh, you can, you can just go to the balcony with your shoes and everything. And I was like, okay. I'm walking out to the balcony and there's like a door that I hadn't seen open before. Like basically it's an apartment that they made into a studio. So I, that was the bedroom. So I'm walking like towards the bedroom into the balcony, like towards the balcony and he's standing in the door frame and he just grabs my face and kisses me. Wow. There you go. He was and, reading the room. Good at reading the signal. Yeah. yeah. But Ethan, I know that you're like this basically a virgin fuck. No offense, but like, it sounds like you've been dating one woman for like 20 years. Like, yeah, he probably was reading the room. Like, if I have a girl that's like at the club drinking, asks me to go out like and get some food afterwards, like comes with me in my car alone while her friend goes off with my friend and then comes back with me to my fucking studio, apartment alone at fucking 5 a.m. Yeah, that that is called reading the room, Ethan. Like, it's that is like the biggest like fucking clear for takeoff sign you could ever possibly get. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like. <laughs> and awesome. I, kisses me. I, I, I'm like, no thank. Like, you know, I'm like, no thanks. Hold like, on, sorry. That is true. YouTuber chatter poll says, Destiny, she is debating him the whole time, remember? <laughs> true. Dude, this man is like six foot seven. Did he He's lead? already a... Did he lead with oh. tongue or no? I, Why would you ask this fucking question? It's so fucking cringe. Like it's it literally, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to fuck. I'm like fucking up any chance I ever have of talking to Ethan. Although I think I've already fucked that up because he's like a Sonic writer now. But like, bro, you sound like you're in sixth grade, okay? Dude, I fucking kissed this girl yesterday. It was such a magical moment. Did you have tongue when you kissed? Like, bro, what the fuck are you saying right now? Like, I don't even like thinking about it. I right, just I'm like sorry. He just I should. Me. <laughs> no, right, right, it's okay. right. Let's not relive that moment. But <laughs> he, he, he had kissed me and then. I like, I just was like, no thanks, like, you know, whatever. And I was also by, I was by, by myself with him and I had like a bad experience from a past relationship. So also he's very like aggressive online. So I didn't know what he was capable of if I denied it. So I just pushed him off and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the balcony. And he goes, you need mouthwash. Yeah, what? Was, <laughs> oh my he was God, like, oh, bro. you need mouthwash. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I think I sent some texts over. <laughs> hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, everybody, chill out, okay? You're on the aircraft carrier and the rubber band has been pulled all the way back, okay? 
Prepare for takeoff, okay? Flash. Ew, and what? <laughs> oh my he god, like, oh, bro. He needs mouthwash. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure I think I sent some texts over to Sam because I, yeah, I, I was got texting the text my here. friend. The, yeah, I was, I was texting my friend the whole time and you see me say like he just told me to get mouthwash or something. Yeah, let texts. me pull up this text. Again, guys, we have receipts. This is fully vetted. Bro, mine just grabbed me to make out and he goes, get your Listerine. You taste like alcohol. No, he obviously knows you came from the club. He's disgusting. Wait till I get home. Is Walter driving you? Yes, I'm still at the club, though. Ask Walter if he can pick me up from the studio to drive us both home. I'm about to walk. Answer now. She's all worried about you. Bro. Oh, wait, yeah. Please um, before, let me know. Before, Are you okay? I'm good, bro. Before, He's disgusting. Before you continue, oh, you um, want me to stop? It's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can continue after, like, I finished. Because, like, um, it's just, like, the timeline for her. Because it's going to be, like, a big... I'm leading up with the suspense, you know, but yeah, I, had, yeah. um, I, I come back from the balcony because I, I again, like I went to the balcony and tried to stay as much as I could out there. So he could just like be like, OK, like, let me bring her home now, like get tired of me, basically. So I come back in the room and then I go to the bathroom, like in the kitchen. He's like, that's not where the mouthwash is. So I was like, oh, OK, um, where's the mouthwash? And he. Came <laughs> Bro, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I, you know, I thought it would just do it to be polite, like. Points to like the bedroom bathroom. Are you a little so scared at this moment? <laughs> I was very uncomfortable. I was very like, uh, like I, again, like I didn't know, again, like a lot of people, I didn't want to speak out about this either. Cause again, like there's alcohol involved, you know, like a lot of women try to speak out about stuff like this. And you usually get the whole, like you asked for it if you didn't do this or that, the third, but like when I was in that moment, like I didn't. It was like a fight or flight or like freeze. So I basically <laughs> froze. Like I didn't know what to do, but I was just like keeping in touch with my friend. Like, hey, like, what are you guys doing? Like, can we just go home? But yeah, I mean, he was at just this, trying to keep me there. At this moment, it does sound a little scary that you're in this studio with this massive dude. He's just come on to you. He tried to kiss you. You rejected him, and now he's he's kind of ordering you around to mouthwash. Because at that point, it's like, well, why am I mouthwashing? Are you going to try to make out with me more? Yeah, and, and I didn't really see the point in doing the mouthwash of like I I don't know, so I I just go into this bathroom hmm. that he led me to like he didn't lead me to he just pointed to it, and also I always forget this part whenever I tell this story but like uh -huh. a, a little bit beforehand I had opened the fridge before like he kissed me and stuff I had opened the fridge and I saw like he had white claws like because they have like alcohol in the fridge and stuff and they have they had a white claw in the fridge and I was like oh white claws like oh can I have one like as a joke and he was like yeah you can have one but just don't tell anybody. Well, and, you broke that yeah. promise. Bro, what, does this girl forget that she admitted to drinking earlier at the club? I'm like, dude, this is some fucking insane. Like, she is a predator. She is being predatory, right? Like, she already admitted earlier. Maybe she forgot. She admitted earlier that she was, like, drinking at the club. And now she's like, ooh, a white club. And I'm like, what do you, what, where's the joke? Like, how, like, this was a joke? Like, I was just kidding? Like, come on. What do you, what the fuck is happening here? Like, this is, she's actually, like, doing some predatory behavior right now. Like, yeah, sorry, sorry, Myron. But um, he, so I go, so fast forward, I'm in this bathroom. Um, I'm standing in the bathroom, like trying to kill time again, like a bit on the balcony. And when I come out, he's like laying on this bed. So wait, you just, you you were in the bathroom for a long time, just trying to kill time? Yeah, yeah, I was just like, like, cause hopefully like I was hoping like time would go by and he would get tired and say like, oh, you have to go. You know, like- So and you were also, just like, in the bathroom? You can't like ask to leave? Also, hello, you fucking moron, okay? We're in goddamn Miami. You can walk out, get a cab, get an Uber. You're not trapped. You're not stuck, okay? You're not in, like, the fucking mountains of Tennessee. You're not in, like, fucking trapped in Colorado. You're not in the middle of nowhere in Nevada or some shit. Like, you're, we're, in, we're in fucking Miami, bro. Like, you can get an Uber any time of the day. Like, what the... Or I'm sure you've got... Or maybe she doesn't have friends here because she's out of town. But, like, Jesus Christ. Like... I think for a long time, you probably thought you were shitting or something. Yeah, I think at this yeah. point, she was literally a mile from where they were staying. Were they? Like, I was dropping a grumpy. But Oh, yeah. Um, and he, I come back out, and I was wearing, like, a fresh... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Excuse me. But um, <laughs> I, I was wearing a fresh and fit hoodie, and... Because they have, like, a room full of merch. But I asked them, where does it go? They say nowhere. So they and she's literally wearing their fucking merch, bro. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> they all just collectively wear fresh and fit, like, all day long. But 
Ooh, whatever. So um, I, I'm like standing up next to this bed and I'm texting my friend like, like, cause we're just keeping in touch with each other back and forth, like what's going on. And she wanted to go home. I wanted to go home, but the moral of the story, it's the guys were texting and the girls were texting. So like, I kept telling uh, Myron, like, I want to go home. Like, is he's waiting for me? Like, can we go? And Walter said to uh, my friend at the club, he said, um, why are you texting her? Why are you texting your friend to go home? Like, like it was basically like Myron was telling Walter, like, why is her friend telling her to go home? Like, it was just a whole thing. What on earth, dude? On. You're telling him you want to leave. Like, what the fuck? Is it in some remote area where you kind of feel like stuck there without assistance? Uh -oh. Like, where are you? It, it was, it was like Miami's very city like. So, like, it wasn't like I was alone, but like, I don't know. I, I just didn't know my way around anywhere. So, I was just like. What do you mean you don't, bro? No offense, but you're a fucking kid. Nobody knows their way around anywhere. Use your fucking phone. It's called Google Maps. Are you serious? And everybody, nobody knows and everybody knows simultaneously. Take out your phone and type in an address. What, what are you at the, I, could, I couldn't figure out how to go. Like that shit would have worked when I was a kid in 2000 and fucking, you know, eight. But like, no, sorry, 2006, whenever the fuck. It was a long time ago, okay? Before we had like tons of map apps and stuff, like I can understand being like, I didn't want to go and ask him to use his printer to like, you know, get the map quest out or some shit, okay? Like, also apparently everybody's saying that she was literally like one mile from her apartment. She could have walked in like 15 or 20 minutes. People are saying that. I don't know if that's true again, but yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. And right, also, like, it's not your city. Yeah, I didn't have the keys to my friend's apartment, so I didn't feel like going, like taking an Uber there and just waiting. Right. So, that's when I had asked her, like, oh, can you have him drive to here to pick me up? And he was refusing and it was just a whole thing. And then so at this point, like I'm standing next to this bed and then um, I'm like trying to like, you know, again, like give him cues. Like, I want to leave. I don't want to be here. And he's like, why not just say it? Because every cue you've given thus far is that you are like massively down to fuck. That's every single cue that you've given up to this point. If you want to leave, why not just say like, hey, I want to go home. Like, do you think he won't take you? Like, are you actually a fucking, like, sex-trafficked prisoner right now? Is he going to take in, you know, your ass? Like, what, or, or reverse taking or whatever. Like, what is, like, what, what is the implication here? Or why can't you just Uber home and leave? Why can't you just leave? Oh, you can sit on the bed. So I sit on the bed, and I'm sitting at the edge of the <laughs> You can sit on the bed if you want. Okay, so I sat on the bed. What? the bed you know like the memes how they say how girls are and um i'm sitting at this edge of the bed he's like oh you know you can come up a little bit more so now i come up but i leave and then i come up a little bit more bro what the fuck are you doing what is happening what am i listening to a nice gap between the both of us where it's like very obvious like i don't like you that i'm leaving a gap between us i'm le after sitting on your bed and then after crawling up closer to you on your bed now i've got a gap now i've got a chastity gap in between us like and i'm on my phone he's on his phone and i remember again i was speaking about my views once again he just jumps on top <laughs> i was debating him again i was still i was debating the whole time <laughs> We were at this point where it was so hard to debate him because every time I tried to get out a word, he fucking thrust his dick into me again and again and again. And I swear to God, like, I was debating him so hard, but he was fucking me so... Like, what the fuck is happening? What is going on right now? Up me and starts making out with me. Wow. And like, 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 trying to kiss me and stuff. And so I'm like, I have my hands, like, on him where it's like, I don't want him, like, laying on me, like, intimately. So I'm just holding my hands up. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Mind you, this was about, like max a minute long and i was wearing like this shirt and it's what do you mean a minute long he was kissing you for a minute and then you stopped him <laughs> do you what do you think is do you think you might be a little bit confused at this point like what do you mean it was a max a minute are you trying to say like that's a short amount of time like maybe you don't realize like a minute is a long time i don't think no, i normally make out for a minute a minute a minute is a long time to be kissing somebody like what like it's like a very loose shirt whatever and he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, and Wait, I said he lifted to him, up your shirt and kind of looked at underneath it and commented. Yeah. Yeah. My chest. Cause I have, Dude. I have piercings. You, you I'm yeah. sorry. You, you say what? No, I said I have piercings. So he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very Wait, so what was the order there? Did she do the classic? Oh, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but whenever a girl says like, if a girl is kind of like flirty with you and she mentions it like, oh, hey, do you know I have my nipples pierced? 
The next question you're always supposed to ask is like, oh really, can I see them? Because that's the reason why somebody makes that comment, right? Or if a girl is ever saying, she's like, you know, I have like tattoos, you know, in other areas too, you're like, oh really? <laughs> Can I see them? That's always like the, that's usually what somebody is farming for um, when they're, when they like make these types of comments. So like this, th this idea that she like had piercings you wanted to see is like, yeah, no shit, what do you, who brought them up? Like, you know, but. Very Did, creepy. It was so very I, 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 I don't want to. Uh... Okay, everybody in chat is saying, I don't believe you. So this was probably like a movie scene or a YouTube video I missed or whatever. But the general gist of whatever I'm saying is like true. That usually if people are, Sometimes people don't want to volunteer all of the information about themselves, so they give you enough to grab onto, and then if you show interest, then they'll go a little bit farther, but yeah. <clears throat> also, according to the Fresh and Fit guys, um, people in YouTube chat are saying this, and then my spy friend is saying this. Apparently the comment that he actually made, this isn't okay or good, but apparently the comment he actually made was that her boobs were lopsided. Apparently that's what he said, um, but okay. This is a bad. This is very bad. This is a very disturbing yeah. uh, story, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. It's interesting, but at that point, I think like, he may have assaulted you. I mean, at this point, I. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say that, but like again, like that's. It's just. It was my. Experience. He also implicationed you a little bit too. The way they, they br they split you guys up and. Yeah, I think you got implicationed. I think you got dentist systemed. If you know what that is. I also want to say like something that I hate so much, and I actually don't hold the girl as responsible for this. She's supposed to be a dumb fuck because she's 19. So like, sure. This is kind of what I said before about how like, um, uh, this is what I said before about how like um, social media has given a lot of power to like dumb fuck children. Um, but Ethan here is doing so much damage. Um, I wish that I could communicate with you guys and I'll never be able to do this. Um, and you'll never believe me. And most of you will never understand. I don't even fully understand. I can only go by the experience to hear of other people. When you are raped, when you are raped, okay? Not like had an account you didn't like, not somebody made out with you, not somebody touched your boobs, okay? When you get raped as a woman, there is so much that goes into properly assessing with and dealing with that situation afterwards that makes it so fucking difficult. Like, do you really wanna to go to the hospital and do a rape kit? Like, do you, were you even really raped? There's a whole bunch of self-doubt that happens afterwards. Like, did you leave the person, did you be raped? There's all sorts of stuff that you have to deal with. There's the fact that you have to extricate yourself from that situation as well. You gotta get away from the person that did it. You know, do you leave, whatever? Do you even have a way out? Like, after you get the rape kit, like, do you want, do you wanna file a police report? Is it gonna destroy your life to do it? Like, I've got all these social groups that are gonna know if I do this. Like, this guy's gonna hate me, like everybody. Right, when you have like, there's, when you're actually in one of these situations as a woman, there is like so much that goes into doing the proper steps to make sure that things get filed that when you have like subhuman fucking clout hungry fucking virgin fuck losers like ethan platforming these types of stories it's not fair and it's not right but you destroy you destroy people's ability to have conversations around these things. That's the long form explanation of you make it hard to believe other women. That's what it means when people say that you make it hard to believe other women. Because again, remember what I said earlier, okay? If I tell you it only takes two or three fake rape stories for you to believe no woman, you think that that sounds racist, you think that sounds sexist, you think it's not homophobic, you think it's not, right? People will say all these words, oh, you can't make that after two or three things, that's not fair, right? You'll say that, right? That's misogynistic, okay? But if I tell you it only takes two or three interactions for a black dude to never trust a cop again. Yeah, of course, I agree with that. It only takes one or two violent relationships for a woman to never trust a man again. Yeah, of course, that's fair. I believe it, right? It only takes two or three times for a person's mind to get completely fucked on a certain thing. So you can't say that it's unreasonable when a man hears two or three fake rape stories and doesn't believe any of them anymore. Because we would always grant that for every single other person in society. It doesn't take a hundred bad run-ins with somebody to create a false understanding or impression of an entire group of people. That's not how anybody works. And we know that when we talk about minorities because liberals and progressives love to treat minorities like incapable little dipshits. But the reality is, is everybody's an incapable little dipshit. It's the human condition, okay? we, we 
see patterns where they don't exist, where they don't exist, and we recognize them, and we and we instill them over other things, like or project them over other things, like very very quickly. It's just that's the human condition. So like I'm just saying that like you can't you can't on one hand say things like a black kid only needs three run-ins with the cops to hate cops for his entire life. That's not every cop is a bad person. And then in the next breath, say you should be able to hear a hundred fake rape stories and know that there are thousands more out there that are true, which is true by the way. That is true. It is true that for every dumb fuck girl like this that's clout sharking on another guy's show who's clout sharking, for every one person like this, there's probably a hundred women that actually got raped that didn't even go to the police station, let alone file a report, let alone tell their friends, let alone try to get justice in any other arena, right? It is true, but can you expect people to believe that it's true when this is the type of shit that you hear? Like, it's, it's very, 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 very frustrating to me. Um, I don't blame the girl because again, she's 19 and she's a dumb fuck and she's clout hungry. I expect her to be dumb because she's 19. I expect her to be clout hungry because she's a fucking kid. Sure, that's fine. But like, Ethan should know better here, right? Ethan should, uh, but, he, but he doesn't because he has no experience here. Because he's probably, <sighs> it's almost doesn't right. He's probably been in one major relationship for the majority of his life and he probably doesn't have very much experience in this arena. So like, take a step back and maybe realize like, hey, maybe I don't need to have an opinion on this. Maybe this isn't my wheelhouse. Maybe I should shut the fuck up and like let other people that understand this kind of stuff talk about it, you know? Yeah, no. Oh, okay, sorry. It's, not, it's always the only thing. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, so, but yeah, no, so, so what's, going point, your, I, what's going through your mind as he is lunging Like you, you can tell too that like, Ethan is fishing so hard for a story here. Like, Ethan is so excited for a story. Like, when he's asking things like, oh, bro, like, was it, did he use tongue? Like, he's fishing so fucking hard for something sensational here. And it's like, bro, calm the fuck on. Now. It was, it was very quick. So I was just like, no. Like, right away in my head, I was like, no. I don't want to have, like, sex with this person. Like, I don't. So I like, as soon as he like makes that- I don't think he's being malicious. I think he's in God's mode instead of, oh no, bro, don't misunderstand me. Jesus, I have to like qualify like a million things. I'm sorry. I don't think Ethan is like maliciously thinking like, I'm gonna ruin fucking, I'm gonna ruin women. I'm gonna set all the rape claims back, blah, 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 blah. Like, sure. Like I 100%, I'm not saying that, okay? Um, I'm just saying that like, what Ethan knows is that there's a juicy story here against like another like fairly big like YouTube group of people that he can like shit on and get like a ton of viewers on and it's like funny as fuck, right? That's all that's going through Ethan's mind. Ethan's not, I don't think Ethan is like acting malicious here. I think he just, he doesn't like the fresh and fit dudes. They got a history and now he's got a girl like willing to come on and like throw him under the bus. That's some funny shit. Like, let's go forward with it, right? I like, I'm sure if you go through my YouTube history, even maybe recently, I probably made mistakes like this before too. Like, I, I don't think that like, this doesn't require like an ultra malicious point of view from Ethan, but we still have like responsibilities as as content creators to be better than this. Um, someone in my YouTube chat said, something tells me that Destiny doesn't like Ethan. I don't really like Ethan that much. I hate the fresh and fit guys. However much you think I don't like Ethan, I don't like the fresh and fit guys a million times more, okay? Comment, I push him off me and I say, I, I, I like him. Now, it was it was very quick, so I was just like, no, like right away in my head, I was like, no, I don't want to have like sex with this person, like I don't. So I like as soon as he like makes that comment, I push him off me and I say, I I, I verbalized to him, I said, I don't want to have sex with you. Did you think I came here to have sex with you? <laughs> and he got very mad, like he just got mad, like he just like he did like a little toddler thing where he was huffing and puffing, went <sighs> and goes on his phone, and he just like went silent. And I was like, oh. this makes sense. So like, I would say like, I would hope this as a guy, okay? If you get turned down or rejected, like, you know what? Actually, fuck me, dude. I'm just getting turned into such an insult. I think it's fine to be a little disappointed, you know? Don't like take it out on the girl. Don't try to pressure it. But it, like, it sounds like this we did. He was like, ah, oh, fuck me or whatever, right? Waste of the night, you know? Girl seemed like she was DTF, she wasn't, right? I mean, like, don't make a big show. But like, it sounds like he just like, okay, whatever. And then he got on his phone, you know? That's, that's, I think that's, I actually think this is like, of the range of interactions that I would accept or engagements I would accept with, or reactions. And the range of reactions, they're fairly narrow. I think this is one of them that's okay. It's on the lower end of it, so like, it's okay, right? You're, you're okay to be upset and get on your phone or whatever. That's fine. Okay, like I'm, and I changed back into the outfit that I had in the bathroom. And I came out, I give him the merch back and I say, okay, can you bring me home now? And cause my friend was- This idea that she would fucking ask him for a ride back, I, I'm trying not to insult so hard. This girl is so fucking spoiled, dude. I can tell you so much about the type of person this girl probably is. No, not 100%, okay, not 100%. Maybe there's something different, but like, 
This girl sounds so unimaginably fucking spoiled. Oh my fucking God. Give me a break, dude. Can you give me a ride home now? Like, after you're like drinking his alcohol, I think. Did she drink the White Claw earlier? I couldn't tell because she said it with a joke. After she drinking alcohol, using his mouthwash, wearing their fucking merch, hopping on his bed and shit, like changing into outfits while you're there. Like, yeah, of course he's going to be disappointed. And now you want to ride home? Are you serious? When you're about to fly home and never see this dude again? Like, was like my friend was also like drunk at the club with um walter and she was texting me saying like i'm gonna walk home because he's not bringing me home and it was just like a whole big True thing going on. neither uh, yeah. so neither, <laughs> both of them are refusing to give you guys rides home yeah and it, and so yeah so i i had asked myra and i said can you drive me to my friend's apartment and he said no i parked my car already awesome. so i was like okay i'm gonna order my uber now and he was like okay like just acting like a complete toddler like in my uh, that's totally fine that is totally within his right to do the fact that you think that your ass is fucking owed a ride home are you fucking out of your mind are you actually fucking insane you think this dude owes you a ride home after you gave every indication that you were down to fuck and then at the end you're like ah nah never mind like you think he has to take you home what the fuck is wrong with you This really propagates 10 times. I shouldn't waste it on this line of people, huh? Fuck me. In, like entire, like I felt like I was looking in the face of a 15 year old, like a 15 year old boy that like, oh, I, I didn't give him a kiss or whatever. Like, but um, at that point I, uh, excuse me, I feel like I had to burp, but um, I order my own Uber and I'm walking out and I'm like, oh, my, my Uber's coming. Like, can you walk me downstairs? Because I didn't know how to work this building. So he walks into the elevator, pushes the button and walks away. Like, That's with- fine. That's all you need, motherfucker. What, do you expect him to hold your fucking hand? What are you thinking? Bro, where is your mind at? What are you thinking right now? This is probably like the third Uber this girl has ever ordered for herself in her entire fucking life. I bet she didn't even pay for her drinks at the club. Sorry, that's insult. I didn't need to say that. No comment. He just pushes the button mm-hmm. and walks back into the studio. Like what? Like, like what did she just say? Like he was pouting. Like I didn't give him a kiss. What did you expect? A kiss good night? Like what the fuck are you doing? Like Jesus Christ. And I get into my Uber and like at that point, I think that's when it kicked in. I started crying because I was like, I don't know what just happened, but I feel uncomfortable. And I, I that's where you could read the rest of the messages with my friend because I mentioned everything in there. You started crying. Uh, yeah. I don't blame you. That whole thing is really traumatic. And I'll tell you what. No, absolutely nothing that happened here was fucking traumatic. Ethan, shut the fuck up. What the fuck was traumatic? She went to a dude's house, seemed like she was down the fuck, decided later that she wasn't for whatever reason, and then decided to Uber home. Nothing, absolutely nothing about this entire scenario was fucking traumatic. Give me a fucking break, dude. I actually didn't know how how crazy this story gets at the end. I, I, I'm sorry. You how were- crazy it gets at the end? Bro. Went through that. It's all right. I just want to bring it more. I mean, wow, this is the thing that's really crazy is like if you're hanging out with somebody, you know, you don't always have to give someone a ride home. But what's messed up is they intentionally split you guys up and then he took you all the way out to the studio and then basically stranded you there. He's like, well, if you want to leave, you got to fucking pay for your Ethan, bro. Kill me, dude. Kill me. Kill me. Okay? Nobody is stranded. Nobody is stranded anywhere. She's a mile from her fucking apartment. And it's- she's in Miami. She got an Uber. What do you think stranded means? Like... Your own ride. I mean, what the fuck, dude? But anyway, it's a good thing he didn't give you a ride home because who knows what else he would have tried on you. Okay, so let, yeah. me, let me read this. Uh, he's disgusting. Wait till I get home. Is Walter driving you home? Yes, I'm still at the club, though. Ask Walter if he can pick uh, me up from the studio to drive us both home. 
I'm about to walk out. Answer, bro. Please let me know if you're okay. I'm okay. Dude, he's disgusting. I'm making him drive me home right now. Are you going? I'm making him drive me home right now? Like, listen to her text, dude. Are you serious? Also, like, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. Um, this part here, by the way, also, because she's like, I'm constantly texting my friend. Obviously, she had her phone down for a while, which she was talking to and not responding, right? If this, I wish there were timestamps on all these messages. I don't know if iPhone can show them all, but. Bro, please let me know if you're okay. I'm okay. Dude, he's disgusting. I'm making him drive me home right now. Are you going home? Yes, I'm going home soon. Okay, I'm going to make him drive me home right now. Myron just tried to have sex with me. I said no, and he's mad because I said no. Lol. The fuck did he expect? You guys are going over to apartments and shit at 5 a.m. Oh my god, dude. I would be so I wouldn't be triggered because I'm I'm a decent person, okay? But like this would test me. We would be pushing the limits here, okay? If I only knew if I if my only interest in a girl was sex and we got this far and I was like, damn, all right, well, I just wasted a ton of my time. But like, bro. Dude, when you when are you going home? He's a fucking weirdo. Is Walter bringing you home? Because I told Myron you're going home right now, so he can Uber me home. I'm leaving soon, but if he knows Walter is taking you home, he's gonna. Be what it, did? So wait, I'm curious. Did her friend fuck Walter? Do we ever find out that part of the story? Do fresh your friend mention that? I'm kind of curious. Hmm. But be weird. Why is he texting Walter? Um, I think so, but wait, leaving with Walter, right? Leaving now, yes, leave now, now. What are you doing one minute away? I'm getting my Uber, three minutes away. Bro, Byron's a fucking piece of shit. Home, need me to come down and wait. Now, 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 I'm getting my Uber, blah, blah, blah. Yes, please, K. Okay. Bro, I wanna cry. I'm coming, we'll talk. I'm coming down the block. I hate to say it, I don't want to make you feel some type of way, but that was super in a, that, that was, that's the, the, crazy. The, the best part is the day after. This is the and best wait, part Wait, the there's more? Story. Yeah, and wait, there's more. And so, remember, just uh, remember, this is a 35 year old man who's stranded this a 19 year old girl in his apartment. No one is stranded, Ethan. Literally nobody is stranded. I don't know what you think stranded means. Nobody is stranded right now. Who's stranded? Trying to get her drunk all night. She he's not, doesn't have to try to get her drunk all night. Her producers offered one drink for the thing, which I think was on a different day, wasn't it? It wasn't even the same day, was it? Or was it the same? It might have been the same night. But like that wasn't her offering earlier. And she was drinking on her own at the club, bro. And she found the white claw and asked for the white claw on her own, bro. What are you talking about? What do you mean? How is he trying to get her drunk? She's doing it all herself over and over and over again. Jumping on top of her and then making her get jumping on top of her bro She sat on the bed and then got closer when he asked What the fuck? This is why like I try to be really careful when I like I, I have to qualify myself 50 times because I always tell you guys like When you're trying to figure out through like a romantic situation, okay, like figuring out like negotiating consent and figuring out what everybody's okay with It's really hard on the guy and girl's part It's really hard when you're in the middle of a sexual situation to do it and It can be hard to like keep control of yourself. It can be hard to be respectful. Like I get that. Okay, so I'm more willing to accept mistakes than, than other people Okay, um, and it happens but the um Wait fuck I don't even remember hold on drunk all night <sighs> Jumping on top of her and then making her give right like, this is why I say when I'm giving these, it's why I try to give both of this. I don't believe in like explicitly asking consent all the time because it, it, it can feel awkward. I don't think it's bad to do it, but it can feel awkward to be like, can I kiss you? Can I take your shirt off? Can I touch your left boob? Can I touch your boob with my hand? Can you, like, it's, it can be, I, I wouldn't expect that level of communication from most people because most people just aren't built like that. Most people can't handle that, right? So you kind of have to go by like, verbal or nonverbal cues, right? Like you kind of have to go by like, well, she came to my place. She asked for a fucking white claw. She got some mouthwash when I told her breath smelled bad. She sat on my bed. She got closer when I asked. She's talking to me about her pierced nipples. Like 
all of the indications are kind of there. It's like, okay, fuck it. There's enough here that here's what I would expect, okay? There's enough here that I can make a move. And it sounds like he tried that. He did make a move. He made a move and he either misread or she changed her mind. He, he made a move and she said, stop. Now, that's actually totally fine. It could be the case that if this girl was more honestly telling her story, she wanted to fuck him right up until the final moment. And she was like, fuck, I'm too nervous. I'm a little afraid. I don't think I want to fuck this guy. I'm not, I just, for whatever reason. And you know what? That's totally fair. Um, that's totally okay. You're always within your right to do that. You can, you can do that in the middle of a sexual interaction. You'd be like, I'm not, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, fuck me. It's like, sorry, or don't fuck me, I guess, right? You, are, you can totally, 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 totally do that. That's totally fine. You always have the right to do that. But, like, what does is, what is the fresh and fit guy do afterwards, right? Well, after he, he makes his move and she says, stop, he stops. He stops, he's a little disappointed, which is fair. And then he's on his bed, he checks his phone, and she's like, I want to go home. And he's like, all right, get an Uber. Like, that's okay. The, the way that all of that played out afterwards, that's actually totally fine. And props, I hate that I'm saying this because these guys oftentimes come off as like uber rapists, the fresh and fit dudes. Like the way, from the little I've heard, they sound like they would be. No offense, that sounds horrible to say. But like, it sounds like she said no and he stopped immediately. Good on him, like that's cool. He, he, there's probably a million other ways that he could have kept pushing that encounter. Maybe he could have offered us another drink. Do you want to go back to the balcony? Do you want to, but it sounds like as soon as she said stop, he was like, all right, fuck it. And then he gave up completely. Even though he had her in a really good isolated environment that if he wanted to rape her or try to do something more, he probably could have. He probably could have leaned into it way more. But it sounds like she said stop and he stopped. Cool. He's disappointed. That's fine. That's fair. She wants an Uber. She can get it herself. Fuck it. He's irritated. That's okay. Like, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know, like... <sighs> get her own ride home after he doesn't get uh, what he wanted from you. Which is fine, that's fair. You're not obligated to give any motherfucker a ride home, okay? Um, now, for the true story, for the true story, apparently, this is according to the Fresh and Fit guys, I shouldn't say true, that's their version. Um, he said that when she lifted her shirt, he didn't make a comment on her piercings, he made a comment on her having lopsided boobs. And that might have been what turned her off from the encounter. And that's why she don't want to go further, right? Maybe. Um, so now I don't know whose story is correct or whatever, but like, yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. So what happened the next day? So basically, um, I, I sent those over too, but um, he- Wait, there's more? I woke Should up I open something else? Screenshots yeah, of text from this. Myron. Should I look at this? Yeah. Just just for backstory too. Um, when I had gotten back to my friend's apartment, I told her what had happened. I was like telling her like, this is what happened. And we basically agreed. I was like, okay, let's go to sleep. And in the morning, if I say the story the same way I did last night, then it happened. Cause I, I felt like I was imagining the whole thing. So she was like, okay, so we go to sleep. Um, we wake up the what? next day. And we, the first thing we did when we woke up was like, I told her the whole story again. And she was like, yep, everything's the same way you said it before. And then right away I look at my phone and there's a text from Myron. And then that's where you can read those. Sites. Okay, here we go from Myron. I don't know if yesterday was planned with you but it wasn't cool. I really didn't think you were the, that type of girl. Oh, he's mad at you? Yeah, what? he was very mad. Girl. Oh, he's mad at you? Yeah, what? he was very mad because I didn't, I didn't give it up. I, I say it further in the text. So first thing in the morning, he's texting you hate messages. I don't know if yesterday was playing with you and your friend, but it wasn't cool. I really didn't think you were that type of girl. Very disappointing type of girl what to just want to hang out and then not want to fuck me to just want to hang out ethan please bro you are unironically you might actually wait do they have a kid if they don't have a kid i think ethan is actually still a virgin i don't think him and Hila or whatever Hila or whatever have ever fucked but they might have a kid if they have a kid then i'll believe it they could have still done surgery artifact oh they do have a kid okay so he's had sex at least one time ethan you unironically sound like a virgin two kids okay so they fucked either twice or he saved the load from the first fuck and gave it to her the second time dude Dude, Jesus fucking Christ. It's like it's like I'm reading the Twitter arguments again. It's like, well, maybe you just invited a girl over to play Smash Brothers. Like, bro, you, like you just, you are so, oh my God. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry, wait, hold on, <laughs> back off. I didn't know that their second kid was actually in vitro fertilization. I don't know if they have, <laughs> I don't know if they have fertility problems or whatever. That wasn't supposed to be that type of joke. I'm sorry, let me rewind that. 
that was not supposed to be that type of joke. I didn't, I had no idea. Okay. So <laughs> let's erase all of that. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's erase all of that. Okay. But regardless, like when you're making comments like this, like, bro, maybe she just wanted to come over at 5 a.m. after the club and, you know, hang out and chat. Like, come on, dude. Like, this is like, it just sounds like you have no business talking about this type of stuff. Just don't. Jesus. The minute you see me. So you, you say, what do you mean by that type of girl? And what do you think could have been planned between us? If I can't get an explanation what that type of girl is, then don't label me as that. It's also funny that she's going to act indignant now. However, do you guys remember how this whole thing started? Because it kind of sounds like she is exactly that type of girl. From the beginning, wasn't she bragging about like, we're going to go and fuck with these guys and like not actually like get laid or anything? We're not, we're not actually going to give it up at all. Like it, you are that type of girl. That's literally what you set out to do. That was what the whole joke was. You wanted to like fuck with them, make waste your time or whatever, and then like not put out or whatever, not, not actually fuck, right? That, so, but why would you be upset if somebody called Jonah? It sounds like that's exactly what you were trying to do. So why are you mad? Like, you know what you did? Actually don't, so please enlighten me. You can come over and we can talk about it. How does this guy still want to hang out? He's still trying to get you back to his house. Well, hold on, Ethan. I mean, wasn't she the one saying like he was toxic and disgusting and I didn't want to be in his presence at all, but she followed him back to his studio at fucking 5 a.m. after asking to go out and eat at fucking 4 a.m. after hanging out and drinking at the club underage? Like, holy shit. Yeah, and, and during this time, like I didn't want to say it right away. I'd rather him say it for himself. Like, you know, like, this is why I'm mad. And that's why you see me like avoiding it. At yeah, first. I'm like, no, what did I do? What did of I course. do? And he just never says it, but he keeps going. He says like, so you um, say, I'll, I'll continue to say, what makes you think I would want to come over after you saying I had possibly planned something, then saying, I know what you did. You know what you did? He says, <laughs> or wait, no, not to my apartment. I was going to meet in the lobby and talk about it. Uh, did you not read what I said? You're also texting me in a rude way and childishly saying you know what you did but won't exactly explain what that meant or what you think I'm planning and disregarded my question as to what the type of girl meant because I honestly want to know. Exactly. You can't call me anything because you're quiet. Don't project your anger onto me because I didn't want to have sex with you. Who's this? <laughs> Got him. Yeah, he tried to play the the, the card. Like, oh, I, I don't know who this is. I deleted your number. Giga like, Chad. I really pulled a heartstring on Sorry. that when I cried. Hold on, days. they're not Giga Chads. That's not true. Sorry. Wait, wait, wait. But, he, he said that a day later or later that night? How long? Yeah, no, because I, I um after I had sent those texts, like the there's the two um last bubbles you see, the one before that, before you see the date, um he, he didn't answer me for a few oh i'm not watching the time at all um last yeah no she's number don't she wants a response do you understand exactly. that do you understand that this is what this means right so she gave him this i can't see the difference in time so it's hard to tell i'm making a little bit of an assumption here but she responded to his message here i don't want to talk to blah blah and then he was like okay fine fuck it and then he didn't yeah, respond i actually want to know watch hold on he didn't respond to these, so then she texted him again to get a response from him. So she is actually looking for a response. And then he hit her up with a, who's this? <laughs> Damn, I understand. Yeah, that is that is exactly what's happening here. I hate that I've played so many text games. I know exactly what's going on here. 100% I would bet my life on it. That's what's happening, yeah. Um, now, Getting I haven't seen the full text between them, but somebody linked me this. Oh, shit. Exactly, you can't call me anything because you're quiet. Don't project your anger onto me because I didn't want to have sex with you. Who's this? Yeah, he tried to play the the, the card. Like, oh, I, I don't know who this is. I deleted your number. Like that really pulled a heartstring on that one. I tried, but but motherfucker, not bitch, motherfucker. You were the one that was thirsty for his fucking engagement with your text. That's why you sent him two more messages after at least an hour, which I think is how iMessage works, right? You sent you sent him two more messages after he didn't respond to you. You were you did want a response. You were hungry for it. Admit it. Like, why else the fuck would you message him again? Cried for days. Wait, wait, wait. But he he said that a day later or later that night. How long? Yeah, no, because because I I um after I had sent those texts, like the there's the two um last bubbles you see, the one before that, before you see the date. Um, he he didn't answer me for a few days, and I had gotten home from Miami for a few 
Days. And she, oh, so he might have actually, dele- he might have actually lost her number. Maybe. I don't know if he would delete a number or not. I wouldn't because I would want to know just in case. But like. And I was like, he's not responding to me. So I might as well just say my piece. And then that's it. So that's when I had said what I said like a few he days said, later. He answered. Yeah. Can I put a theory forward? Yeah, let's hear these text messages and tell me what you think. Because obviously, if this happened to you, it's happened to a lot of people, I think. Oh my, dude, I hate him so much. I actually do kind of like hate him. I'm like starting to hate him now. Oh, fuck. I didn't hate Ethan before, but I'm getting there. (sighs) He preemptively texts you in the morning and accuses you of doing something. And he won't say what it is. Well, he accuses her of doing exactly what she came onto your show to admit that she did, Ethan. What are you talking about? Ethan, she literally said it would be funny to fuck with these guys and like, you know, show them they can't get a 19. That's literally what she is on your show talking about. What are you talking about, dude? Is he trying to give himself some kind of alibi in case mm-hmm. there's any allegations against him? Because he know he fucked up. Oh my God. What would the allegations be, bro? Nothing improper really happened. Are you fucking serious? What are you talking about? Dude, you're a schizo post. You're not schizo post. You're autism posting right now. And it will look really, 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 really bad if you told this story. So that's how I read this is he's like, I'm going to send this message saying you did something. This is like, this is kind of like what I was talking about at like the beginning of my stream. I just want to be like a video game player, dude. Like, I don't think any of these people give a fuck about any of this shit, right? Like, I, I don't think Ethan cares about this. Like, I don't think Ethan gives a fuck if women get like raped or if people believe it. I don't think he actually gives a fuck at the, at the end of the day. It's just like whatever gets like the most likes on social media, um, whatever the fuck like, you know, gets you the most social validation, whatever gets you the most views for your show. Like, I think that that's all it is. And at the end of the day, I think fundamentally it's all these fucking people care about. And like, I don't wanna, I don't ever wanna occupy the same space as these people. Like, it just feels gross. Cause now I feel like a loser. Like, I don't wanna have these conversations next to these like, Fuck, there's so many words I want to say that I can't say anywhere. Like, I don't want to have the conversation alongside, like, these fucking losers that don't care about any of this, right? Like, you clearly don't, so, like... Thing, and I'm not going to say what it is, so that if there's ever her trying to expose me, I have these texts that apparently you did something and I didn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. What else? What it, What do you think he's trying to do with this, with these texts? I, I, I think he was just, like, I, I don't know. I... I... I agree, but I also like felt like I think he I think he really believes himself. Like I'm some type of girl. Like how how dare you not want to have sex with me? I'm sure I have you been. literally are though. You admitted this, girl. Do you not remember how this whole show started? You literally said, I'm gonna fuck with them. Wouldn't it be funny if I like debated them the whole time and then like didn't actually fuck with them? Wouldn't it? Like this was your whole strategy. Like this is what you wanted to do the entire time. Why are you acting like you're not genuine? I have I have all these cars and all this money, and how dare you? Like I didn't know you were that type of girl to have respect for yourself. I think that's right, right, like, I th- right. I'm so I disappointed. He... Yeah, and, I'm so and, like, disappointed that our lab our elaborate plan to separate you two and sleep with you both after meeting you once. I'm so disgusted by you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly what I felt like because I really think he lives in a world. Like, I think he believes everything he says. Like, I, I do believe he's insecure, but everything that he says, I think he genuinely believes. Well, like, he's never he's, had a girlfriend, and he's, and he's, and he's. Yeah, he said something too 35. along the lines, like on, uh, on the episode I was on, he said that he never chased after girls in high in school because it was, um, it was a distraction. And my, another friend of mine said, just say you didn't get girls. It's simple. Just say that. But what's yeah. weird is like, if he wasn't such a creepy brain rotted weirdo like he's tall and he's fit in the name you would think that if you just would lighten up a little bit and be like a reasonable normal guy you would know you have no trouble he had no problem attracting women and getting into a relationship but do you it might be that his goal believe it or not you virgin fuck it might be that his goal isn't to just be in a relationship maybe that's not what he wants right now maybe he just likes hooking up with people maybe he likes playing the field maybe that's what he's into right now right like what, what like no offense, bro, but like, who, like, who the fuck are you to give advice on any of this? Like, there's something. Probably not with a nineteen-year-old. 
I mean, oh, sure, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something so disturbed about him. And did you, I don't know if you were watching before, but he was a, he was a federal agent yes. for human yes. trafficking. What the fuck? Ethan strikes me as an apolitical normie that hasn't thought through many of these things, but is outraged because it seems similar to situations that have been deemed wrong by the broader culture. Yeah, he's like, like there is this whole like weird thing where all of these guys on the internet, um, I mentioned this before, everybody has to be political about everything. And there's this like group of guys on the internet that like previously weren't political at all, but for some reason they feel like they have to be. Linus Tech Tips is exactly the same way as Ethan. And it sucks because like Ethan and H3H and like, he, these are like funny people. Their podcasts are funny, like their old React shit was funny. Like they did really cool shit. Ethan did really cool shit when they won that lawsuit for defending React content on YouTube. Um, Anthony Fantano is the same way. Yeah, like all of these people are like super cool. Linus Tech Tips is a really cool guy. His content is funny it's still funny they do like cool computer reviews and shit they actually benchmark stuff they've got cool video concepts like i don't hate any of these people anthony fantano's music review stuff is really cool he's a funny guy i think he's a funny dude to listen to even though he personally hates me thinks i'm a nazi and fascist or whatever the fuck he calls me or whatever um i think his reviews are funny i think his music reviews are cool like it's cool like listen to do shit but like all of these people feel like they have to be like political they feel like they have to come out and talk about like socialism and uh rape culture and it's like bro like if you want to make that jump, why can't they do it if they don't want to? Because they're stupid. No, let me qualify that more. They're not stupid, but they don't take the time to actually have those conversations, right? Like, it's it's like when every gamer felt like they needed to have like massive social commentary because of Gamergate. And it's like, bro, what the fuck are you guys even talking about, right? If you want to, now, if you want to put the work in, like Hutch is a really good example. Hutch will always be my go-to example. Hutch is like a gamer guy that wanted to do politics, but he puts the work in. Like he knows what he's talking about. Like I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna say to Hutch, like bro, stay in your lane. Like Hutch knows what he's talking about. Even if we disagree on a lot, which I think we do. Um, but like, if you don't know like anything, you don't, you, you can just like not have an opinion. It's okay to be like, oh, um, like oh like i don't like talk about this shit because it's not my wheelhouse i do like react content on youtube or like oh like i just do music reviews like i don't i'm not doing like a lot of social political commentary like maybe i will if it comes up in a song um or like linus like yeah we do like computer review shit maybe i'll talk about like worker stuff a little bit because i have like employees but otherwise yeah i don't have like big polit like just like why can't you just do that you know um Fuck, dude. Yeah, so my, um, uh, my friend that lives across the street from uh, like a prison, and when he had dropped off my wallet, he was like, oh, I, I went stationed here once or something. He said something like that, and then that's when I found out that he used to be a law enforcement officer. For human trafficking so, department. Yeah. Yeah, he, he Takes one to know one, I guess. Good one, Ethan. Definitely, human trafficking is what we saw here. Yeah. <laughs> that's how he caught them. He knew where they were. Wow. What about Lewis Rossman? Um, I think Rossman is a good example in the other direction. He's like kind of like Hutch. Like he wanted to get into political commentary and activism and stuff, and he did a good job of like doing a little bit of like reading and homework and getting there. I think he did a good job at that. Yeah. Wow. Well, this took an unexpected dark turn. You know, I I, I basically when I, I spoke to Sam, also Sam, she's amazing. She's Wait, very since when, when is Linus political? Maybe he's not on his show. Hopefully. But like on Twitter, he just tweets out like totally dumb fucking shit all the time. Just stupid socialist leftist progressive shit. He doesn't understand anything. Like, wait, wait, um, so who's Sam? I, I, oh, you're Sam. Sam. Oh, damn. Wait, is that serious? Because that makes it like that makes it even sadder if that's the case. Fit is a decorated U.S. federal agent for Homeland Security with awards and good standing. He left due to the no media presence rule, I think. He's just looking for a trad relationship, but most of the show is performance. He literally got an award for saving trafficked children. Is that actually true? Holy shit. It, I, I shouldn't have read that without verifying that. If that's actually true, then damn, Jesus. That's like even more fucked then. Like, oh my God, what is Hold that? on, actually, wait. Before you guys, I need a link to that. Show me a link to that. Show me a link to that. I want to see if that's actually true before we, um, before I, because I just like said that. I just said that before um, reading it. I need to, you need to show me, like, show, link me that. U.S. Marshals recover, or U.S. Marshals operators recover 16 missing children under allegations of sex trafficking. The operation dubbed Fresh Start. Wait, shut the fuck up. No, hold on. I can't tell. Hold on. I can't tell if you are. <laughs> hold on. I can't tell if you guys are fucking with me or not. No, April 10th, you're fucking with me. Shut the fuck up. Wait, 
É o... Ah, rola na minha... An unexpected dark turn. Wow. Well, this took... That's how he caught them. He knew where they were. Well, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He used to be a law enforcement officer. I went stage deer once or so. He said something like that. And then that's when I found out that he used to be a law enforcement officer. Um, uh, my friend that lives across the street from uh, like a prison. And when he had dropped off my wallet, he was like, oh, I, I went stage deer once or so. He said something like that. And then that's when I found out that he used to be a law enforcement officer. For human trafficking so. department. Yeah. Yeah, he, he takes one to know one, I guess. Wait, what? Ethan is implying the takes one to know one is that the fresh and fit guys are like, or the fresh dude is like a human trafficker, right? I'm not misunderstanding that, right? Somebody is disagreeing with my understanding of that. That's what he's saying, right? Am I misunderstanding that? Or is she? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Okay. He is saying that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how he caught them. He knew where they were. Wow. Well, this took an unexpected dark turn. You know, I, I, I basically, when I, I spoke to Sam, also Sam, she's amazing. She's very sweet. Wait, um, who's Sam? I, I, oh, you're Sa Sam. Oh, my God. What is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need a minute to, I need a minute to recover. I don't think he's very serious and say no, it's like a joke, but like it's this is the implication, of course. Give me a minute. Start over please. if you need to. Maybe I thought she was I talking have. about her friend. I was confused. I thought she was talking about the other friend there. Okay, are we done she with this? She kept referring to Sam and I don't know why my brain. Sam, I know who you are. I I'm appreciate right here, everything every you day. do. I know your name. <laughs> I need a I need a minute to recover, guys. Man, it is right. Wednesday. Yeah. It is Wednesday. Okay, we're done with this. Um, okay, so he was like a he was a U.S. or he was a um, homeland security officer. I was just curious about that story about the kids and finding them. If that's true or not, I'm just I'm just curious about that. But in trouble in the future. Uh, so go all the way down to the uh, towards uh, the part of the conversation, which you guys had already seen all this. This is nothing as a surprise. Oh, so she's like, is this her chatting him up the entire time? And if you're watching us on. No, sh no, no. Wait, no shot. Wait, no shot. Are these the other? Oh, wait, hold on. My internet is goofing up real quick. One second. Okay, is my internet recovered? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't tell me that this is actually the girl, right? You guys really made some amazing progress in such a short amount of time. I'm down to hang one on one before I leave Saturday. We should go out to eat. Texting at 4 a.m. No way is this the fucking girl, dude. You've got to be joking me. No shot. On YouTube, you can go ahead and rewind the whole conversation. I came out to see her. For the week, but tomorrow she's working two to six. So do you want to get lunch tomorrow? Bro, at, this girl is an actual fucking predator. Okay, please use the, this girl is a clout predator. That's what she is. Oh my God, I did it. I tried, I, this is supposed to be two months of no incels and I did it. There's going to be 20 more Britney threads and 20 more Lauren threads tomorrow and it's my fault. Oh my God. And act, she's an actual, another incel factory. Another incel factory. Conversation. Yo, Tim was Billy. What the hell's going on? I just hopped out of the shower. Do you want to hang? <laughs> Handle what? <laughs> Not here. <laughs> He's probably like, what People the tagging me to shit. Yeah. Uh... After the club, depends on late. I'm out because I gotta catch my flight. I think I told Izzy he's heading. Blah, blah, blah. Why don't you come out to Vendome? Are you there now? Yeah, of course. How was the show? You guys coming? I just got off air. How was it? It was good. I'm just loving starting. Do you want to pick you up to get food? My bad. I didn't see your text. So here at Vendome, are you down to come here for a bit and get food after? Oh, text I wonder if she just wanted pictures of her and him like at the club. It actually sounds like she's like, oh, dude, I hate to say this. I hate to say this. I'm so, I actually feel disgusted with myself. Like, 
I think Fresh actually got finessed. <laughs> I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. He he got he actually got hardcore played. Um damn. So <clears throat> Oh, Brickle, I live like I think we're like 10 minutes from there or like 5 minutes from there. It's a honey and lime, nigga. Yeah, I need some. Uh, let's keep going. Where, where's uh? Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, Chris. So, okay, so here we go. Uh, you know what you uh? Okay, so just for full context, can you go back a little bit, Chris? Yep. Because I want to make sure that we have the times and dates here, because it's oh, fairly. Oh, Myron is fit. Sorry, I don't know. My bad. Whatever. Important for context. Let me get my glasses here. <clears throat> All right, so uh. Damn. I actually, f I feel bad for him. She like begged him. The best part is this will only reinforce his views. This is why the left always like loses on like these culture issues because they're not willing to admit when like that there are people like this, that there are girls like this. She actually, she finessed the fuck out of him. She clout sharked him. Unironically, that's what she did. She wanted to like get the clout pictures and get the fucking go to the studio, have the stories or whatever, and not actually fuck them. That's what she wanted to do. And she did it. She actually did it 100%. And she even got the clout on the H3H show after. Like, Jesus. Where we at? The club closes at five. Okay, so hit play real quick. So just so you guys have everything here. We ain't hiding shit. Let's keep going. Okay, pause. So next day, right? Nine Those texts from her were five days after she didn't get a response. Do you think she also planned to rat him to H3H3? H3? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if yesterday was planned with you and Izzy, but it wasn't cool. I really didn't think you were that type of girl. Very disappointing. All right, so she's in Miami another day. I'm like, fuck it. Let me try to get my dick sucked. <laughs> so what does she do? Guys. <laughs> Bro, he's honest about it at least. Like, fuck. This is what I mean when I say, like, I'm not saying he's, like, a racist person or whatever. I'm not saying that, but like this is why I'm like, I'll take like a Nazi, like bro, tell me you think that Jews are evil and they're trying to control the world. I'll take that. I would rather talk to and hang out with that person, even hang out with, yeah. I'd rather talk to and hang out with that person versus some fucking like woke skull progressive loser that's like, I like all people equally and I love everybody and you guys are all blah, blah, blah. Cause at least like, at least you're honest with me. Be honest with me, right? I'm glad that he says that. He's not some shit like, oh, I just wanted to talk with her and get a, some teas and crumb. He's like, I'm rich. I'm trying to get my fucking dick wet. Maybe I'll get some head or some shit. Like, okay, cool. Fuck it. At least he's honest about it. Fuck. Like, I know where he's at least here's a little bit of game for you whenever you tell a girl that you're disappointed or whatever it may be like that it automatically triggers a response don't believe <laughs> that's true oh no i don't think i can't i can't show you this video responsibly guys you're not this is like the forbidden knowledge because the problem is that like a lot of the shit that red pill and pua people say is true like in terms of getting reactions out of women, it will work. It will 100%. But their analysis for why it works is usually really fucked. And it also takes in a lot of bad roads if you're not responsible for it, okay? This is like, it's like the dark side of like social interactions. Like, believe me, look at her fucking shit. Curiosity is what women operate on, right? You know what you did. I actually don't, so please enlighten me. Nope. Not and like, men would respond similarly too, right? This type of attack, this isn't unique to women. It will work on women, but it would work on men too, of course. I can answer it. You come over, we can talk about it. Oh, uh, no, right? <clears throat> and she goes, what makes you think I would come over? So he's probably, now that I'm seeing more of this type of interaction, the more that I'm seeing is that like, she's probably not gonna come over and talk about it because she knows what she's fucking doing. And that's why he's saying something because he knows she's not gonna bite. I, under I understand that, yeah. For after you saying that I had pl possibly planned something and then saying, I don't, I know what, you, what I did. Not to my apartment, I was gonna meet in the lobby and talk about it, which obviously guys, Anytime after uh, an exchange like this with a girl where you get her emotional, mm -hmm. but she's responding to you and uh, like this, where there might be a potential to meet up, you always meet her in public first. Talk it out, figure out where the hell- That's true, you should. That's absolutely true. Meet in a public area, yeah. Meet in a lobby, meet in a restaurant, meet with someone. Don't ever go right back to a room. What a horrible fucking idea. That's absolutely true. She stands before you bring her back to your spot. And here's the thing, guys, I've done this. Plenty, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. When you elicit emotional reactions from women, guys, it makes them more attracted to you. The, here's the thing. Women are emotional creatures, guys. The okay, but men are emotional too. Fuck. They're... 
I hate this. He's he's gonna be right about everything he says, but it work. All of this shit works on men and women. Okay, men are not these stoic, emotionless, like logic lords that they pretend to be. Okay, men are very because technically, right? For every criticism, and maybe he would admit this. Maybe he would. I'm not sure. Right? He got finessed because he was horny the entire time. He got finessed by a 19 year old girl. This guy sounds like a smart dude. You were a fucking U.S. marshal or a fucking uh, TSA, whatever, anti human traffic agent. You were a smart dude. You got played by a kid. You actually got played by a 19 year old girl that wanted pics for Instagram and she did it. She got away with it 100% and it worked. So like you can pretend now because like the analysis on the other side is he's desperately trying to get power back in this relationship. He wants to get one on her. He wants to get one over her. He wants to show her like, oh, I've triggered you, I've triggered you. But like, bro, you're the one that got fucked on this. You like, well, you didn't get fucked. That's the problem. That's how fucked you got. You didn't get fucked. Um, so like, yeah, it's there's. Thing is, <clears throat> The one thing you can never be to a woman is boring. There's a reason why women love guys that are emotionally unavailable, guys that are assholes, guys that are jerks, guys that call them on their bullshit. Because guess what? It lets her know right then and there, I'm fucking better than you. Yeah. Because only that's it's true, but it's not true. The reason why women like guys that are jerks or like emotionally unavailable, et cetera, et cetera, it's not so much that women like those people. It's that women don't like people that are clingy. That's the difference, right? This is why like people will look at like my interactions with women, they'll be like, oh, like it's crazy. Like you, there was that one incel fuck loser woman that was like tweeting um, a while ago. Like, I don't know why any woman ever fucks Destiny at all. He's fucking gross, blah, blah, blah. Like people will say shit like this because they just don't understand the interactions. People see how I interact with women, they're like, oh, like all Destiny does is neg people all the time. It's not that I'm negging people, it's that I have a fucking spine. And I seem like an interesting person to talk to and I'm not here to be like a simp for you to be a Disney princess, right? That's, that's why people are like interested. Um, it's not because they want you to be an asshole or mean. That's the incorrect analysis. Right, it's it's, it's you're, you're you're getting to similarish behaviors, but for the wrong reason. <sighs> this is the problem with all the red pill shit. Okay, hold on.